Hi, I want to talk to you today about uh, AI, artificial intelligence, when it comes to um, photos and uh, image recognition, scene recognition, object recognition, that sort of thing. I wanted to do this because maybe some of you know already, uh, when you try to upload photos to stock photography websites, they kill you with the keywording. They, they, they drive you mad. At least they drive me up the wall with those screwy keywording requirements where you're forced to, to fill in tens of fields and you have to put in it at least 10, 20, 30 keywords. The more you put in, the better because it gets discovered more. It is such a waste of time and I refuse to be enslaved to it. There's a very good solution out there though already and it works great uh, it's 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 miles beyond what we have to do right now and it's google photos uh, they've been working on the ai behind uh, the um, behind the scenes and those of you who have android phones already know what i'm talking about because they get automatically backed up to google photos and if you have google pixel phones well you get free backup of your uh, photos and videos to to the servers and I don't know if you've tried their image search um, but if you haven't tried it you will be blown away I know that I was because you can literally go on there without having keyworded any of your photos uh, and, and do a search for say smile it'll find pretty much almost every photo in your collection that has a person smiling now, there will be a few false positives, you know, but still it's, it's, it's by far and beyond truly amazing AI that does what it's supposed to do. It's in our service and it, help, it makes our jobs and our lives easier. You can do a search for a cartoon. It'll look through hundreds of thousands of photos if you have that many, and I do, and I've, up, 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 and I've uploaded uh, hundreds of thousands of my photos. I've backed them all up to, to Google Photos. And it finds just the cartoons. Do a search for a car. It finds just the cars. Do a search for face. I mean, that's really easy. It'll find it'll find a face. Say so if you want to find a shoe, a belt buckle, a pen, whatever you can think of, it'll just find it, and you don't have to keyword any single photo. And I think it's just truly, truly amazing uh, technology, and it's only going to get better. So. If any stock photography website owners are out there and they're going to see this, please get in touch with Google and license their uh, AI technology for photos. And that way we won't have to do any more keywording because I'm sure there are a ton of talented photographers out there who have a ton of amazing photos and they're like me. They hate keywording and they're not uploading them to your websites. This is, they're just not like right now I'm registered with Alamy I've I've been I think for over five years if not more and I <laughs> I have hundreds of photos sitting in the queue there having uploaded them having had them approved and I still haven't keyworded them because it's just absolutely ridiculous and I know that there are keywording companies out there third-party keywording companies and you can hire them to do that for you but come on uh, it's a crapshoot with stock photos and you know that if you've if you've tried it you don't know if you're gonna make money with a photo and then you're gonna pay a company to keyword your photos invest even more money into what you've already invested plenty of time and money into because remember you had to buy the equipment you had to buy the computer you had to invest the time uh, and, and the money into all of that so you can actually produce the photos and edit them and upload them and then you're gonna pay a third party to keyword them for you you don't know if they're gonna do a good job and you don't even know if you're gonna sell that photo so that's for me not a workable thing it's so much better and the solution is right out there right now if stock photography companies would simply use Google's AI we'd all be um, in a much better boat, to put it that way. Now, Flickr used to have something like this, and I'm droning on again. Look, I'm, I'm at six minutes right now, unedited, so I apologize. 
I tend to make longer videos, but uh, Flickr had it for a while on their website, and now I don't see it there anymore. Um, it was in beta. It was a feature that identified animals and birds and some objects and some people, and it was working pretty good, but I don't see it there anymore now that they've been acquired by Verizon. Maybe I just don't see it. Maybe I haven't. They've changed the, the, the place for it. It's not there anymore. But uh, yeah, they used to have it. Now they don't. Um, Flickr had so much unrealized potential. Oh my God. They, they had a stock photography service for a while. Did you know? I, I was invited to be part of the initial group of photographers uh, to launch the, the Flickr marketplace, it was called. And. Uh, and that was years and years and years after people kept asking them, hey, Flickr, launch it already, would you? And then they finally launched it, but it was, there was already so much competition uh, that it just didn't do well, and then they closed it down. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. Back to Google's amazing AI for uh, photo searches. And uh, please, stock photography website owners, if you're listening to this video, employ their AI. It's amazing, and you're going to save us a ton of time, and you're going to get a ton more amazing photographs submitted to you. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.